hello everyone welcome to another ai tech drill video so in this video i'm going to show you how to use the notebook lm which is one of the best ai application for learning anything so if you're a student this tool will help you a lot even if you're not a student but you want to research something you want to learn something if you don't know anything about this tool this video will blow your mind so watch the video till the end and i'm going to show you how to use this so first just take a quick look over what i'm going to show you let's say this is the topic that i want to learn here so one of the mind-blowing thing is that this will will help you to create a mind map so if i just minimize it you can see all the topics or all the chapters that I want to learn from this in this topic will show me by order like if i want to learn about the classical computers and expand that it will show other options and other insights topic about the classical computers it can also create an audio overview for the whole topic the sources that you provide and you can listen to this like a podcast and also you can join the podcast so you just have to upload all of your resources the the topics that you want to learn and it will give you all the insights that you want to learn you can also ask it for exact or specific question that you want to learn about your research project or anything else whatever purpose that you want to use even if you're not a student you can use this for own purpose like marketing advertisement your content creation or many other things after watching this video this will give you the idea how you can use that so this whole thing may look a bit complicated now but don't worry i'm going to show you how i do this from the scratch so even a 12 year kid will understand this so first of all you just need to come to this website which is called notebooklm.google.com i'll give the link in the description box and after coming to this website you just need to create a new project so click on create new and after that you have to upload your resources about the projects that you want to learn for example i want to learn about the quantum computers and quantum computing how it works and all the important info about it so i'm just going to go to the google and search for a website and i'm just going to copy the whole website link and click on website and paste the link and click insert and after that i will add youtube videos also so i'm just going to go to the youtube and search for how quantum computers work and i'm just going to choose a video that i want like i like to watch this channel so i'm just going to right click on it share copy the link and click on add click on youtube and paste so now i have two resources where is the youtube video and is the entire article in website which is the ibm and we youtube you can add many resources that you want for your projects after that this will give you a summary here what is quantum computing uh, i can read here like this so if you want to create a mind map of this topic here so just click on mind map and it will start to create a mind map for your research project but after a couple of seconds you can see the mind map has been created so if i click on it it will show me all the chapters or create all the chapters from the resources that i provided so we can see limits of classical computing, quantum computing basics and all the chapters that, that I will learn from the topic or the resources that I provided. So if I expand that, it will show me other chapters that these chapters have. So like if I want to learn about the quantum computing basics, I will click this, go to the uses of quantum properties and this will show me all the specific insights from that information that I want to know. So if I just close it, now I can read it and learn about the specific topic that i want to know you can also ask any type of question here and get answers like if i ask how do quantum computers use qubits it will give the specific answer for me and also how to create an audio overview like a podcast so you can see there's the option of deep dive conversation so you can create a podcast conversation with all the resources that you provided so if i just click on generate it will start to generate a conversation based on two sources so this conversation will going to use these two sources that i provided and after one minute it give me a 16 minutes of audio conversation like a podcast so if i play it if you just a step back and think about human technology it's kind of amazing isn't it from you know the most basic hand tools. To complex machines, yeah. yeah. Spacecraft, supercomputers. Exactly. And uh, computing power itself, particularly since maybe the 60s, has just seen this incredible, almost vertical climb. It really has. We've gone from computers filling huge rooms to devices, you know, vastly more powerful. Now, as you can see, this is one of the coolest feature you can get in Notebook LM, which will create a podcast. You can listen to this when you are working 
are going somewhere or you are in or you're just chilling in your bed or you're just on the go you can just download it so if you want to download it right click on it and download you can also share with other and on the go you can learn anything about that you want so here's another mind-blowing option i'm going to show you which is the interactive mode which is now beta so the interactive mode is you can actually join in the conversation and ask question about the topic if your question is related to the research that you want so if i click on interactive mode and if i click play audio if you just uh, step back and think about human technology, it's kind of amazing, isn't it? From, you know, the most basic hand tools. To complex machines, yeah. Spacecraft, supercomputer. Exactly. And uh, computing power itself, particularly... Now, if I just pause it, now I'm going to join the conversation. I want to know something. So I have to play it again. 60s has just seen this incredible, and almost join. vertical climb. It really has. We Oh, hey there, how can we help? We're all ears and happy to explore whatever you're thinking. Oh, go for it. So... I want to learn what is the difference between a traditional like a classical computer like I use my laptop and the quantum computer like what is the main difference about it? That's a fantastic question and really gets to the heart of it. Yeah, let's unpack this. What's the core difference between your laptop and these quantum machines? Well, at the most fundamental level, it's how they store and process information. Your laptop uses bits. Right, those are the zeros and ones we always hear about. Exactly. A bit is either a zero or a one. Think of it like a light switch. It's either on or off. Simple enough. So what does a quantum computer use instead? They use something called quibits. And this is where it gets really interesting. Quibits, okay. They can also be zero or one. Now you can actually see this is also mind-blowing stuff. So you can actually join the conversation like, like I asked a question, What's the difference between the traditional computer or the classical computer and the quantum computers? And they're actually giving me the answer. So can you imagine how you can use this notebook LM to research anything about it? And what is it stopping you to learn anything right now? So here are some cool features also I'm going to show you. Let's say I want to learn everything uh, about the important topics of the two resources that I provided. So I just have to ask him. So I just type, give me all the important topics from all the resources, but make it short and send. Now you can see it give me all the re important topics about the, all the resources that I provided. And you might think what is the function of this 12, 14 or the things that you, number that you're seeing. So these are the reference. Why do you actually get this knowledge from here? So if you are creating a thesis or creating a researching project, you can give the reference from like this. So if I click on 18 and this will show me where do I get this knowledge from. And also, if you like an answer and you want to keep a note like this, and so later you can find this note and you can use this for your project, just click on save note and it will create a note here. So later you can come to this project and work on your note. And another feature is FAQ. Let's say your exam is coming and you want all the important questions from this topic so you can learn about all the important answers so if i just click on faq it will start to create a new note which will generate all the important questions that you can get from these topics so here's the faq if i click on it you can see it's it created all the important questions like what is the fundamental difference between classical and quantum computers the first question that i ask and here's other other question what are the key principles and so on like that so as you can see, this is a very useful tool that you can use. I just shared with you. If you don't know about it, you just have to add your resources. You can add any Google Docs, Google Slides, websites, YouTube, or you can just upload a picture and copy some text. And the source limit is to 300. So you can at least add 300 sources. So that's it, guys. This is the video that I want to share with you how to actually use the notebook LM for your own purpose if you are a student or try to create any projects to learn anything. Please subscribe to my channel. I always try to come up with the latest tech news and AI related apps. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and thank you for watching.